Welcome back, everybody, to some more Mindcrack in our little town village thing here. Not looking very much like a village at the moment. We only have a couple of mining buildings over there, the farm building over there, and our starter house over there. I wish to change that today. I'm hoping we can knock out a good few houses today. That way we can start bringing in some villages in the near future. And it will start looking a little bit more villagey. I'm not 100% certain where we're going to build these houses. Where they're going to be in the world. They may be scattered around every which way. They may be all together. Not 100% certain. For example, might build one here. Might build one over there somewhere. Who knows? We'll make it up as we go along. But guys, while we get started here, there is something very important that I want to talk to you about. It's not something I particularly enjoy talking about, it feels very needy and very dirty, but it's something that's very important, and that is supporting the channel. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, at Adlington, you may have seen some recent tweets about TAD. TAD is a Android and iOS app that can be used to support your favorite YouTube content creators. It is 100% free and does not store any of your personal information. It doesn't even ask you for a name or an email address or nothing. You simply download the app, watch some commercials, fund your favorite YouTube content creators, done. That easy. It literally takes longer to break down a tree than it does to explain the app. If you go to givetad.com slash adlington and download the app, it remembers that you want to support me as a creator. You literally have to do nothing. Now, TAD allows you to earn 500 TADs per day per creator you want to fund. Let's say everybody who watched this video, that's about a thousand views, went to TAD and supported the Adlington channel with 500 TADs. That's 500,000 TADs. Just to give you some context, 1,000 TADs is a dollar to me. Straight to my pocket, no questions asked, TAD doesn't take anything off of that. If you give me 1,000 TADs, TAD gives me $1. Plain and simple. And again, 1,000 people earning the TADs, that's $500 straight to the channel. That's new recording equipment, that's microphones, that's cameras, that's capture cards. That's a majority of a computer right there. Now I know not everybody has a device capable of running the TAD app, and that's absolutely fine. And I know some of you simply won't want to support on TAD, and that's fine too. But for those of you who want to see the channel grow, who want to support on TAD, here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your Android device, your tablet, whatever you can use to run the TAD app. I want you to go to givetad.com slash Adlington. I want you to download the app, and I want you to watch one commercial. If you're feeling generous, I want you to watch two or three, even earn those 500 TADs. If you hit that 500 TAD maximum, what I want you to do is go to Fund Creators at the bottom of the app. Tap the plus next to my name, and hit Fund Creators. Just like that, you have given 500 TADs to the Adlington channel. That's 50 cents. By this point in the video, you could have actually been halfway through those 500 TADs. Once you've given those 500 TADs to the Adlington channel, I want you to scroll down just below this video, and I want you to add a comment and say, I supported the Adlington channel with 500 TADs. Like I said, I know not everybody can do this, and that is absolutely fine. But every Monday, I get an email from TAD, saying how many funders I had throughout the week, and how many TADs they gave me. If we hit 100,000 TADs, I will do some kind of special video, some kind of special release, something. I don't know what yet, but something. If you have any ideas for what you want the something special to be, then leave them with the comments saying that you supported the channel with 500 TADs. Now 100,000 TADs is only one-fifth of the 1,000 views this video will probably get. And that's it. That's all I'm asking. Just 500 TADs, just this one day. If you're feeling extra generous, then maybe do it again tomorrow. Maybe do it again the next day. If you do it every day for a week, you've given the channel nearly $5. Now that may not sound like much, but if 100 people give $5 to the channel, that's again, $500.
if we do it again week after week after week, we can buy basically anything we need to see this channel grow. Now something else guys, if you take a picture of your screen before you submit those 500 tabs and hold a piece of paper with your name or your handle or whatever and the date on it and send that to me via Twitter, I will build you a house in the town. And I know that's not a huge thing, but I want to recognize your contribution to the Adlington channel with some kind of monument that I will see basically every day. Seriously though guys, I'm not kidding. In the time it has taken me to build this building, you could have given 500 tads to the Adlington channel. It's really that easy. You don't have to be doing it while watching a video, you can be doing it while on the can, you can be doing it while on bed, while I'm riding the bus, while doing anything, just watch one commercial and fund the channel. Alright, I'm sorry about that, I hate doing that kind of thing, but I also understand that if I don't let you guys know that these support options exist, then you simply aren't going to know they exist, you know? Let's build a little church here though. Just to mix things up a little bit, we've got a, that little building over there called the Tad Pad. Let's build some kind of little church-like structure. It's probably going to at least mimic kind of strongly uh, villager churches. Just because I, I like that style. I think it, it fits well. We also want it next to our graveyard here. I'm thinking this is a pretty suitable location for a church. Now, I know I want some pews in here. Which would be like that, like that. Maybe just a set of three pews for now. Then we'll come a little bit further back. It's kind of also going to be quite similar to the little church we built in Season 4? Season 4 Spawn Town? Season 5? Can't quite remember. One of one of the seasons we built a tiny little church in a Spawn Town, which was nice. I'm pretty certain this is going to be its width here. It's currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if we count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we're going to need to go a little bit longer here. Maybe just 3 more blocks. 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we'll close this off on this end. Uh, we'll go up a couple of blocks. So we're going to have a, a tower-like structure just at the other end here. I uh, don't really need to fill in the inside, as that's all going to be whatever block I choose to do with the flooring. All right, and we're going to fill this area of dirt in as well. We probably don't have enough dirt right now. But eventually we'll have all this filled in here. And I'll probably make the majority of this building out of stone, as churches are kind of known for their stonework as opposed to being made out of wood. At least in my mind, anyway. Do I want to have the roof overhanging here? I'm not 100% certain, but we'll, we'll give it a go and we'll see what we think of it once we're done here. Yeah, I think I am kind of liking the roof overhanging there. We're probably going to want some smooth stone, so let's run to the mine and grab some of that. Mm. I don't know, I'm not liking the cobblestone roof, but we don't have a smooth stone roof option. We could try stone bricks, maybe? We'll see if replacing these helps any. Kind of not really. Uh, I mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Nope. Nope. I like in the stone brick less. Even if I change out these bottom things, I, I'm pretty sure I still like the stone brick less. Problem is, it's not smooth on the side. Like, the wood is... Well, it has a texture, it's smooth. If we had smooth stone stairs, which, for the love of God, why do we not have smooth stone stairs? That might be better. 
We could do a wood roof. I think I think we're gonna have to do a wood roof. Which it's not ideal, but Well the stone the stone brick looks better than the the cobble. I'll give it that. Still looks like crap though. What if we changed out these pillars for stone brick? We haven't used any stone brick in the town yet. Let's see how this is. That's something. Now, if we changed the roof to be wood, I'm thinking that might be quite nice. I do like the cobble with the stone brick there, actually. I think, anyway. It's not too bad. Okay, let's give oak wood a try. We might want to try a darker wood. Either dark oak or spruce. But as we have some oak wood on hand, let's give it a go. And see what we think here. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely liking that more than having the stone. That is for sure. So let's bring this part of the roof all the way down across the length here, where we're going to want it to go to. Be right there. And we're also going to want to work out at what height the tower is going to essentially start. So if we bring the roof along here to the edge of the tower, which will be right here. The tower will be going that much higher than the roof currently is. And we're just going to do a few of these walls. We'll come back later to cut out any windows we might want. And from up on one of the hills here, that's what the church looks like right about now. Quite good. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Let's see how it looks with the tower on it, or at least, at least a rough approximation of the tower. So that's the height of the tower. Damn it. That's the height of the tower if it were to be flush with the roof. I think I want it to come up maybe... Maybe two blocks? three blocks, and then would have a secondary roof structure on top of here. So from this point, you can't actually see the tower. You'll be able to see the secondary roof layer that would be on top of the tower. If we come slowly around the church here, that's what the tower is going to look like there. And then again, that'd be the secondary roof up there somewhere. I don't know, I kind of, part of me makes me think it should be a little higher, maybe? While we hum and ha about this tower, let's at least get the roof structure finalized here. For the door as well, I think I'm going to do... I'm hoping one of these doors... Yes, this is the exact kind of door I wanted. So that will stick on the front here. Uh, we'll use a piece of, let's use polished andesite, why not? Stick that in there, stick that in there. Do we want a little covering over the door? I think the roof will serve that purpose well enough for us. Let's get the roof sorted here. Alright, that's the front half of the roof. I'm thinking for the roof on the upper layer, we're probably going to make maybe out of spruce. Just have it uh, a different shade, just for interest's sake. However, still not entirely sure if I want to go any higher with this. I don't know. I tell you what, let's go up here. Let's put the actual roof on the tower and see if we want to move it up at all. So I think this is going to be the floor 
of this upper area, which again will probably be some kind of wood structure. Then we're going to have a fence. We might have two blocks up for support. And then we'll have a roof. I'm not sure if it's going to be closed or open this upper area. In the, the one we built on the, the previous survey, it was open. But we might have it closed here just for a change. Let's grab some spruce wood, stairs, and we'll build the structure up for this roof. Having it in a different colour just kind of signifies it was either built at a different time period or maybe it's been repaired at some point in its life. Just different from the, the roof below for whatever particular reason. And I think we're just going to have it as a regular triangle. We're not going to go with any kind of square roof or anything like that. We'll just have it as a regular triangular roof going up here. And we've got just about the height that we're going to have in total. So let's see how it looks here. Yeah, I think I think with the roof on there, it's definitely going to be coming up to a, a sensible height. I think I like that. I think for the floor down here, we're going to use polished andesite. Uh, I guess, well, instead of filling in that with... Andesite, I can grab some of the dirt that I'm going to be digging up and replacing with andesite to fill in the holes. How about that? That's smart. Think with your head, that is. But the polished andesite offers a nice, smooth, clean looking stone texture. I would imagine in a church they would keep it fresh and clean looking because House of God and all that kind of gubbins, you know? Our church structure is coming along rather nicely here. I do need to work out how this is going to interface with the rest of the building, this particular part of the roof here. I think this will be a perfect time to reintroduce our stone brick here to make a bit of an archway over this part of the, the building. So then we'll build this up with stone here. Something along the lines of so. And I'm guessing this very back edge here, this is where we're going to have the ladder proper. Which will come up on stone all the way up to the top here. In fact, I don't truly need the archway here. However, what I believe I am going to do is replace the stone here for stone brick, and then we'll have a nice huge window at the back here, just to give it that church stained glass kind of look. And for the actual tower here, we're just going to use straight up stone instead of any cobblestone on the edges. We can always come back and add cobblestone details on the exterior, uh, but to have an arbitrary line of cobblestone in the tower structure itself is kind of weird looking, especially from the outside. And we'll just drop a couple of windows in here, something like that. If you know of any kind of patterns for stained glass that would fit in this, it's a tall order, I know, but let me know in the comments. And let's chuck a window into this little area as well. Just so we have some windows up at the top here. Of course, I'm out of stupid stone again. Oh my god. And let's actually change out these pews to what I intended them to be, which is going to be stairs. Something... Do we want ones at the very back? Probably. Something along the lines of that. We'll have a row of four pews. Two on each side. And of course we're going to need a little bit of lighting 
for this build. While I'm digging paths to the church, I'm just going to run over to the mine building here because I noticed since I changed the layout of the building, the path got a little bit squiffy here. So we're going to bring that path around the corner here to meet up to that path. There we go. And I think we finally have enough material to complete this church. Yes, we do. All right, we do still need a trap door, technically, up there, but that can wait. That can come later. We might want to build a, a little bit of a, um, what do you call it? A, a, uh, a standy lectern altar thing i can't i don't i can't i don't even think i don't know i don't know what it's called i can't think of the name for it right now it might be one of those things it might not be uh that's a little bit too low so i think we'll definitely have to go with the stairs and you just uh, you just can't walk all the way up unless we turn this around that's also doable there we go boop hello peasants excellent uh, maybe, should that be one further back? No, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine by me. Alright. There we go. That is our church-like building next to the tad pad. Let us chuck some stuff away here. And we are just going to quickly update the maps we have. In fact, we probably only need to update that one. There we go. That's got the church building. And the tad pad on there. Our town has almost doubled in size today. As always, guys, I would like to thank you so much for watching. I know that some of you have already supported on tad, because I know that's just the kind of people some of you are from talking to you through YouTube comments and Discord and all that kind of stuff. Again guys, even if you just watch one advert, Tad only pays me money if I have 10 unique funders in a week. So even just watching one advert can be a huge, huge, huge help. And who knows, maybe if we get to $300 earned through Tad this week, I may even go buy that new Apple book they're releasing. I'm only joking, I've already pre-ordered about 10 copies.